Welcome to another edition of what's going on at Club Fred. What you're looking at right now is my little setup for making applesauce. What I've done is I've got my KitchenAid mixer, food strainer. I've got it set up so that the apples can go in the top. The applesauce will come out here and uh, pulp waste will come out here and into this container. I looked at a lot of videos on YouTube and I've never seen anybody do this before but what I found inconvenient was how high the food strainer was on the machine. So I've decided to lower it so that ergonomic I can manage this a lot better and be a lot more comfortable as I make my applesauce. Got my pan here, got my apples in the sink. They've been soaking in water and vinegar. I will be quartering the apples here. Okay, so not only am I learning to make applesauce, I'm also learning how to make videos. So if the video is very amateurish, I can get better. My pot is full. I still have some apples left. cooking the apples until I don't really see any more pieces that the apples themselves don't have any more integrity and they just fall apart. So I'm almost there with this pot full of apples and I can't wait to try out my new food mill. I've been playing a little bit with my setup here. The base of the mixer really conflicts with the pot that you want to put down. So I've elevated that with a um, casserole dish. The waste lined up to be caught into this jug, I think. So overall, I'm quite pleased with this setup. I'm quite excited to try it out. I've got this food tray also. It's an expensive option. I'm not overly impressed with it. It is quite loose. I'm assuming that tab should sit like that. But when it's sitting like that, it's fairly loose. Yesterday when I was doing tomatoes, I noticed I had it like that by accident. But when it is like that, it's quite secure. Except it has a little bit of a crack here, which might leak. But if it leaks, I think it's just going to come down here and into my pail. Time will tell. And I'm not really sure if I'm going to keep it like that. This food tray attachment cost around $40, which is a pretty expensive piece of plastic. Yet, I couldn't imagine feeding all of that applesauce into this grinder top without it, even though I'm sure we're going to have some leakage. I can't imagine not having a larger hopper like that. And I prepared a little bit for leakage. I have a towel down. Okay, I'm getting close to having fully cooked applesauce. I'm gonna have to let it cool down a little bit before I put it through the machine. I'm probably gonna put it through hotter than I should, but I can't wait to see how it goes. Okay, this is postage tape. It's a little bit stronger than packing tape. And I decided that I 
wasn't happy with how loose this tray was so I have wrapped a little bit of this tape around here and pulled it down and taped it down on front and back that tape here it's really solid now the cracks are filled quite nicely for larger projects like this it's worth the effort nice and solid now I'm very happy with that this might become a little bit challenging to videotape because I need one hand at the moment for the camera for lack of better equipment and I need one hand to work let me just try that little amount right now it's supposed to go to power 4 oh it's just going through on its own so nicely I didn't even have to push it, it's just blowing. So again, I know it's way too hot. I should have waited to cool, but this is just awesome. I see it going into there. That's just flowing so nicely. I am so glad that I thought of taping this food tray down. It is functioning way better than I expected. Because I can pour a lot of these cooked apples into that food tray. And I am not having to push it through at all. Meanwhile, back at the stove, finishing off the rest of my six pound bags of apples, 24 pounds of apples I'm processing here. Look at this, my pail is almost full of applesauce. I'm going to put that in my big pot. That will be boiled a little bit more before I put it into canning jars. All right, here's the second pot. I'm going to turn this on. Before. I call my just ladle. So that's it guys, 24 pounds of apples, netted me this much applesauce, and I weighed the waste, it's about 9% at about 2.15 pounds. I'm not doing a video on canning, there's lots of information about that elsewhere, so I'm going to end it here. I am just bringing this to a little bit of a boil before I put it in the jars. I want to make sure that I kill any bacteria that we might have accumulated while processing. So thanks for watching and if you have been considering buying a food strainer from KitchenAid I wouldn't hesitate and even the tray has proved to be better than I expected once I uh, fiddled with it a little bit myself. Okay, take care. Bye now.